Matt, families of victims of the defective ignition switch protested outside GM headquarters yesterday. They're expected to show up once again today. There's going to be a lot of emotion there. That's right. It's going to be probably a very emotional meeting. Those families yesterday set up here around 4 p.m. Uh, we're right in front of the Renaissance Center, the GM headquarters here in downtown Detroit, and they're expected to come back here in about two hours to protest. Just about a half hour after that, we're going to have a meeting. The press will have a Q&A session with Mary Barra, and she's going to give us the lowdown uh, ahead of this shareholders meeting, but it'll definitely probably be a lot longer. Last year, it was only one hour long. I've never been to a shareholder meeting that was only one hour long, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit longer this year. One hour. That's unbelievable. So Mary Barra will certainly be in the spotlight. But tell us a little bit about GM's board of directors, in particular the chairman, Tim Solso, because he'd been leading the board for only a few weeks when the first ignition switch recall happened. Right, Ted uh, Solso. He uh, hasn't really said much since the uh, recalls, except for giving uh, his support uh, to the executives and also saying that they're going to have independent counsel because they've been named as defendants in a lot of these lawsuits. Interestingly, yesterday, uh, a, a judge in, in New York uh, allowed about 80 of the lawsuits to be combined or told them to be combined as one lawsuit. So those aren't the personal injury lawsuits, though. Those are just the sort of economic loss lawsuits. GM is trying to combine as many lawsuits as it, as it can. Uh, but the personal injury and wrongful death lawsuits are kind of a different matter than these uh, economic, these dozen scores of economic uh, uh, loss lawsuits. Hey, Matt, you know this company very well. You've been inside. You've been in the factories. You know the, the spirit of the place. And last week, Mary Barra told uh, employees that, um, that if you don't speak up and you don't talk about a problem, that's a problem. So um, as you talk to employees and managers at GM, um, what's the sense for how they're actually going to change that culture day to day? Yeah, I thought it was really an amazing uh, um, meeting that Mary Barra had with General Motors employees saying kind of if you see something, say something, tell your supervisor if something's not working out. And if that doesn't work, come directly to me. That represents a real cultural shift at General Motors, not the kind of thing you would have seen before. Mary Barra in the uh, Volucas report, which is the independent report ordered by GM into this ignition recall uh, scandal, talked about the GM nod, which is where a lot of uh, executives would just sort of shake their head, yes, yes, that's a horrible problem, and then not do anything about it. Well, she's trying to really reverse that culture and asking employees, uh, some of their hundreds of thousands of employees, to come directly to her if they have a problem that hasn't been resolved.